There's a lot of AI content online these days, and that makes it harder to stand out. That's why it's so important to make your writing sound real, like it was written by a human. In this video, I'll show you how to take AI-generated content and make it feel more natural, honest, and easy to read. Now, I know some people might think changing AI content to sound human is a little shady. But here's the truth, it's not about fooling anyone. It's about making sure the content is clear, helpful, and trustworthy. Whether you're writing a blog, doing marketing, or working on a school project, your readers deserve something that feels real, not robotic. First, we'll create some AI content using Hicks AI. Then, we'll test it with a few AI detectors to see if it gets flagged. After that, I'll show you how to use a tool called Humbot to make the text sound more human. We'll test it again to see the difference. Let's jump in. Okay, first head over to Google and search for Hicks AI. This is what I'm going to use to create the AI-generated sample content. Then on the Hicks AI homepage, first I'll click on the login button that is located on the top right corner. Then we need to make an account on it. After that, I'm going to use their DeepSeek R1 model, and for this example, my prompt will be, write a professional paragraph on how to stay productive. And then I'll send that through, and in just a few seconds, Hicks AI gives us a full paragraph about my requested topic. This is the text that we'll be using in the AI content detectors, so I'll go ahead and highlight all of this and copy the entire paragraph. Once copied, we'll move over to the AI detection tools to see if it's, in fact, flagged as being AI generated. First up, I'm using GPT-0. Open the first link. Then you'll see this interface. Here, you need to paste the text and then click on the scan button. Now you can see, according to GPT-0, this text is marked as being 100% AI generated. Now, let's try Winston. So first of all, I'll make an account on it. Then click on the Start Content Scan option that is located on the top left side. Finally, I'll paste my AI-generated content and send it through the tool. And once again, it's telling us that my paragraph gets a human score of 1%, meaning that it's highly probable that this was generated by AI, which it was. Next, I'm switching over to 0GPT, and just like before, I'll paste the same text here and then run the detection. And once again, the results show a high probability that the content was created by AI. Finally, we'll check it out with originality.ai. If you're a serious content creator or industry expert, investing in this tool can significantly enhance your workflow. I'll just paste the text into the scanner and hit the scan button. For the sake of time, I'm going to fast forward through the processing parts of me using these tools. And as you can see, the results come back with 100% confidence that this content was created with AI. Okay, now that we've confirmed the original content is AI generated across all of the detectors, it's time to humanize it. So first, I'm going to head over to Google again and this time search for Humbot. And there it is, let's go ahead and open it. This will take us to the Humbot homepage. Here, you need to make an account on it. You can do it yourself. After that, you'll see that there is a text box where you can paste your AI-generated content. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll paste that paragraph we created earlier. And then once it's loaded, go ahead and click the Humanize button. Humbot will then process the text for a few seconds, and once it's done, it will display a fresh humanized version of the paragraph. Below that, you'll also see confirmation that the output content is now marked as human written across major AI detectors like GPT-0, CopyLeaks, 0GPT, etc. But let's test that out and see if the detectors actually agree that it reads like a real human wrote it. So let's go ahead and copy this. Click the Copy button to grab the newly humanized version. And then, once again, we'll head back over to GPT-0. I'll replace the previous text with the humanized one and run the scan. And here are the results. It's now telling us that the content shows a strong human score, and it's confident that the text is entirely human. Perfect. Next, let's head over to Winston AI. When we enter the newly humanized text and run the scan, it now shows a dramatically higher human score compared to the original. And as you can see, we're now sitting at 97%, which is obviously passing the human threshold with flying colors. Now let's head over to 0GPT. When we enter the humanized text and run the scan, it now shows a dramatically higher human score compared to the original. Finally, head over to originality.ai. First, I'll clear all the old text, 
then paste the new humanized text and run the scan. In a few moments, you'll see that it now shows, likely original, with 100% confidence, exactly what we want to see. But let's keep going. So finally, over this walkthrough, as you saw, we started with fully AI-generated content that was flagged by every major detector. But after using Humbot to humanize the text, we were able to pass all of the detection tools with flying colors. And this process shows just how powerful tools like Humbot can be when you need your content to sound natural and human-written. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides like this one. And if you want to try this method out for yourself, I'll leave links in the description below so you can check out both Hicks AI and Humbot. Alright, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.